Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, simulator training course in the works for F2CS. Also, V-22 Osprey soars past 600,000 fleet flight hours, and a Cessna Sky Courier starts certification flight tests. Happy Monday, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode with the latest news, so let's go ahead and start with simulator training course in the works for F2CS. Flight Design USA has selected professional instrument courses to assist in developing a simulator training course for the upcoming certified version of the new Flight Design F2, called the F2CS in the United States. We are very excited to be working with PIC for our planned simulator syllabus for the F2CS, which is planned to be sold in the USA as an IFR-approved certified aircraft, said Flight Design USA President Tom Pegany. PIC has been in business for over 40 years now, and there is a good reason. They're focused on the client and their professional approach to instrument training. The F-2 is the newest aircraft from Flight Design General Aviation. The F-2 was designed to bring a fresh look at high-wing light aircraft design. The extra-large cabin of the F-2 has been designed for extra rigidity and incorporates a combination of panel-mounted AMP-safe airbags and an airframe emergency parachute system for safety. The F-2 was designed specifically for CS-23 certification and to meet ASTM F-3180 low-speed flight characteristics of fixed-wing aircraft standard for departure characteristics, spinning and stall warning. After the break, National Air and Space Museum receives a gift worth millions of dollars. Those details after these messages. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're gonna hear more about it. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. So let's go ahead and start with National Air and Space Museum receives gift for Wright exhibit. The Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum has received $5 million from David M. Rubenstein in support of of the newly redesigned the Wright Brothers and the invention of the Aerial Age exhibition. The gift will contribute to the safe preservation and display of the 1903 Wright Flyer, one of the Smithsonian's iconic artifacts and the centerpiece of the gallery. The redesign of the exhibition is part of the museum's ongoing transformation of all its galleries in the flagship building in Washington, D.C. and is scheduled to open in 2022. NAV Canada taking flack from controllers. 
More than 80% of Canadian air traffic controllers say public safety will be put at risk if NAV Canada proceeds with intended area control centre layoffs and air traffic control tower closures, according to a survey by the Air Canadian Air Traffic Control Association. Just over 40% of controllers said the looming cuts pose a high risk to public safety, while roughly 39% indicated there would be a moderate safety risk if the cuts go ahead. Border Patrol agents locate downed aircraft and rescue passengers. On March 24th of this year, at approximately 1.45, New Mexico State Police requested the assistance of Lordsburg Border Patrol Station in search and rescue of a downed fixed-wing single-engine aircraft in the southern end of the Pyramid Mountains. After an extensive search, Lordsburg agents were able to locate a pilot and passenger at the coordinates provided by NMSP, both subjects were off-duty police officers with the Full Shear Police Department in Full Shear, Texas. Gulfstream marks 100th delivery of G500 and G600 series. Gulfstream has made the 100th customer delivery in their next-generation Gulfstream G500 and Gulfstream G600 program. The 100th aircraft is a G500. The G500 enters service in September 2018, with the G600 following in August 2019. Before the aircraft enter service, Gulfstream demonstrated the G500 and G600 with exercises that included a high-speed G500 world tour spanning nearly 130,000 nautical miles and achieving 22 city airspeed records. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Let's return to the rest of the news. The Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey has logged more than 600,000 flight hours. The V-22 fleet has grown to more than 400 aircraft and is operated by the United States Marine Corps, U.S. Air Force, U.S. Navy, and the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force. The V-22 is the only military production tilt rotor aircraft in the world. There is no other aircraft in the world capable of matching the unique capabilities of the Osprey, said Kurt Fuller, Bell V-22 Vice President and Bell Boeing Program Director. The 600,000 flight hours represented countless tactical, logistical, and humanitarian assistance missions and the dedication of the men and women who maintain and operate the aircraft every day to keep it an advanced aircraft. Recent program accomplishments include V-22's latest variant, the CMV-22B, assigned to the Titans, a fleet logistics multi-mission squadron 30, completing the first delivery of an F-35 engine to the USS Carl Vinson, along with successful paradrops with the U.S. Navy's parachuting team, the Leapfrogs, earlier this year. From its first flight over 30 years ago to achieving this significant flight hour milestone. The V-22 has demonstrated legacy of mission success, said Shane Openshaw, Boeing V-22 Vice President and Bell Boeing V-22 Deputy Program Director. After these messages, Cessna Sky Carrier starts certification flight test. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com.
welcome back. The Cessna Sky Carrier turboprop has begun the certification flight test phase of the program for the high wing large utility aircraft. Each major achievement has allowed the members of the flight test program a better understanding of the aircraft's strength, capability, and durability. The fleet of three flight test aircraft has now completed more than 700 flight test hours, and the program continues towards FAA certification and first deliveries later this year. Since the third aircraft joined the flight test program in late 2020, the Cessna Sky Courier team has gained momentum through several substantial accomplishments that include envelope expansion to all commerce of speed, altitude and strength design, extreme hot and cold weather testing, ensuring aircraft systems are functional and operational at extreme temperatures, bird strike testing, which includes eight separate tests over a two-month period to demonstrate the impact resistance of the windshield glass and surrounding structure. Certification of the Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-6A-65SC engine through Transport Canada Civil Aviation, with FAA certification expected soon. Natural icing certification, demonstrating the aircraft's ability to operate in actual icing conditions. The Cessna Sky Courier aircraft will be offered in two configurations, including a 6,000-pound payload-capable freighter and a 19-seat passenger version, all based on the common platform. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.